Okay, so welcome to question number four, part A. So we have f of x equals minus x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1. And when it equals 0, it will obviously mean that therefore minus x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 will equal 0. Now in order to prove the result in part A, what we've got to do is make one of the x's the subject. I get a few clues because I've got the 3 minus x underneath the 1 and that seems to suggest 3 minus x is coming from these first two terms. So what I'm going to do is factorize these first two terms and also I'm going to swap them round so I get x squared is a common factor and then I've got a bracket and then if I look at this term I've got a 3 and then look at the first term I've got minus x so when that's multiplied out I get 3x squared minus x cubed so that's those first two terms so hopefully you can see why I went for this method because of the 3 minus x and if I also add 1 now to both sides it will just leave me with equaling 1 what I'm going to do next is to divide both sides by 3 minus x and that gives me x squared equals 1 all over 3 minus x. So you can see I hope that it's shaping up now for the answer because all I do now is square root both sides. So I therefore have x equals the square root of the 1 over 3 minus x. OK, and that proves part A. OK, move on now to part B. So, just put that in there. For part B, we start with x1 equaling 0 0.6 and we use the iteration formula to calculate x2, then x3, then x4. So, we know that the iterative formula is xn plus 1 okay equals the square root of 1 over 3 minus x subscript n there let's just rub that bit out there that's it okay so if we're to calculate x2 what we do is we let n equal 1 so we would have that x2 is equal to the square root then of 1 okay over 3 minus x1 but we're told that x1 is 0 0.6 so put 0 0.6 in there okay and all we need to do is get on the calculator and work this out so if you do this you should find that you get 0 0.645497 and so on. And we're asked to give this to four decimal places, so this will be 0 0.6455 to 4dp. Okay? So that's the first one, x2. And what I can do now to get x3 is simply to put this number here, the value of x2, back through the formula. So I get that x3 will be the square root of 1 over 3 minus x2. And x2 was this number here. And when I get that, that will give me x3. When I've got that answer, I can feed x3 back through the formula again. And that will give me x4. Well, it's quite tedious this by putting this number through the calculator so there is another way that you might have been shown at uh, school or college. If you've got a calculator uh, one of the ones that has the answer button on it ANS. What you can do is this. I'll just show you. Okay. I'll put this down on the side here. Start with uh, 
typing in 0.6 into your calculator. Type 0.6 in and press the answer button, ANS button, okay? And then clear the screen. Then what you have to do is then type into your calculator the formula that you have here. So type in the square root and then you might have to put brackets around the 1 minus 1 divided by 3 minus x n. Okay, so just put square root bracket 1 divided by and then 3 minus and then press the answer key and close the bracket. So it should look something like this on your screen. Go through that again. Just the square root, type in the square root, then bracket 1, then the division key divided by, and then another bracket 3 minus, press the answer key, ANS, and then close the bracket, and then close the bracket once more to complete the square root. Remember, answer was typed in originally as 0.6. So if you now press equals, you should find that you get this number, 0.645497, which rounded up obviously is 0.6455. Now, with this, all we need to do is just simply press the equals button again and it will give us x3. Now I've typed this into my calculator and if I press equals again I get 0.651704 and so on. So this answer correct to 4dp is going to be 0.6517 to 4 dp. Okay? Let's just rub that dot out there. Okay, so all I've got to do now to get the final value will just be simply to press equals again and that will give us x4, the fourth approximation. So if I press that uh, the, on the calculator, the equals button, I get 0.65 two, five, six, four, and so on. And so that when it's rounded to four DP is not point six five two five two six I mean sorry two six to four DP. Okay. So that finishes part B.